Hi, I'm Mike from Mike's Carburetor Parts. Uh, I'm going to be rebuilding this Autolite 1100. This is a uh, Ford Autolite one barrel carburetor. Uh, found on Mustangs among other cars. At any rate, uh, I've had a lot of requests to uh, go through a rebuild series on this one, so I thought I would. And Anyhow, so this is going to be the teardown part. And I'm simply uh, showing you the teardown, which is no big deal, uh, so that you will uh, kind of see where the parts are going now although uh, be warned that uh, just because the part came off a certain way on this one doesn't necessarily mean it was in there correct to begin with uh, so anyway so I'm taking off the fuel filter we do stock these fuel filters incidentally for the 1100s simply screws in there throw it away and put a new one on and uh, okay let's see let's start with the uh, diaphragms here and by the way uh, before I forget you want to be sure you take uh, plenty of digital pictures as you go along and uh, I do quite often uh, especially on one like this it has so many little uh, bits and pieces to it and uh, you know I don't do these very often these days so uh, um, if I have any question about which way some part went I'll be able to refer back to it so take pictures as you go along doesn't hurt This has some, happens to be an automatic choke uh, 1100, which uh, are very hard to come by core-wise, uh, especially these hose brackets here. I guess my point is, don't lose any parts. You know, we carry the, <laughs> the automatic chokes bad on this one. Or at least it's coming apart. It's not really bad. You can put these in here. Uh, we sell the chokes for these. A little clip here. Uh, these clips are included in the carburetor kit, and fortunately, because I always lose them when they pop off of there. Okay, so back to this diaphragm here. This little part here is plastic and very, and uh, I don't think they're even available. I think I've tried to get them. Oh, uh, this is something we carry, and these are quite handy. These are, uh, I forget what you call them, but uh, these things tend to leak uh, around here. They get warped and whatnot, and you can put these on here to, uh, uh, and they go on just like this, by the way. Uh, it kind of straightens it out, so it's a nice thing to have these around. Uh, you'll find these on my website. just started carrying those not too long ago. Anyway, it really uh, takes care of hopefully the leaks. The other thing you can do on these things is, uh, uh, <clears throat> yeah, you see this one's probably leaking right here. In fact, it's dirty right there in that middle. Um, you can try and uh, bang these a little bit flat. Uh, keep be careful though; they're they're not real thick. You can grind on them uh, with a file, all kinds of things, uh, or just put a sp uh, the uh, repair spacer in there yeah and take your time taking these things apart because you got things like this spring 
that'll go flying out and you'll never find it again hits the floor it's uh, I call it my black hole uh, and there's a good thing to take a picture of because uh, you're going to question which way this goes now fortunately there's a little indent there that, that where the, the small end goes there but you know if you take a picture there's not going to be any question about it take this uh, and will mix your screw out and these things here uh, if there's any uh, lines black lines or anything in it uh, buy a new one uh, they get uh, that's from uh, people uh, tighten them too tight I see this one has a little bit of wear on it so uh, uh, you know chuck it and get a new one we, we do carry these but uh, yeah that's from tighten it too tight just snug them down when you're tightening them up and uh, so we've got this this little plastic thing right here we also carry uh, these are uh, they break quite often because they're plastic I guess now a lot of these 1100's only have one diaphragm on one side I go through what all this stuff is when I uh, put it back together These things are little, but you know, they take uh, a lot more work than uh, than the bigger carburetors. There's just so many little parts and pieces of this thing. I think that's why they're kind of a, a bit of a problem carburetor. Uh, there's so many things that can go wrong in these. I yeah, like the diaphragm uh, problem I was just talking about. In fact, now you got two of them to contend with. And this one has two plates, one on each side, of course. <clears throat> it's a good deal. And again, you got your little spring on this side, too, so keep an eye on that. By the way, I use this uh, cookie sheet. I found these plastic cookie sheets at a dollar store or something one time, and uh, they sure are nice for uh, um, <clears throat> keeping your parts in one place. I'm checking the uh, wear in here uh, to see there's not too much back and forth wear. This has quite a bit, so this one probably should be rebushed. Um, You can, uh, you'll have to get them, it, you know, if you can't do it yourself, you'll have to get some machine shop to do it for you. So I took everything off already, the, the, off the float bolt top, so, and I got the screws out here. And uh, so I'm going to lift the top off here. And uh, again, take pictures just to show where everything is here. And you want to be careful about uh, throwing your uh, parts around when you take it off and uh, one of the reasons is you got a check ball in here you got a, you got a, a weight a weight and a check ball in here and you got another check ball over here so oh, here's one right here so you got four check balls and uh, let's see here if we can figure out 
which is which. Now I suspect in general on most carburetors, I can't remember this one, I'm going to have to think about. Let me uh, plug these two holes off and yeah, so you got some uh, the bigger I would have thought those would be the smaller, but there are a bigger hole here, so those are some bigger check balls. I'm going to plug that off again. You got this check weight with the check ball, and uh, this is the main discharge here. Then you got your check ball over here. Let's see now. Okay, so we got three check balls the same size and one bigger. Now I'm gonna have to think about this, but I think I'm, I would bet I think they probably had the check ball in the wrong place. They had uh, different size check balls over here. Uh, uh, typically, these are the lighter check balls, but I'll have to think about that. Uh, um, your heavy check ball more than likely went in your discharge right here. That would be my guess. Okay, so this is a pretty nice clean little core. So this is going to clean up real nice. Uh, a little worried about the throttle. We'll, we'll look at it a little closer when I get that off. So uh, <clears throat> there's that. And uh, at this point you could probably quit if you wanted to. Uh, uh, I'll probably end up taking it for, apart further uh, just so I can uh, clean it up here. At any rate, so if you want to take your time, just take take it all apart. And uh, in here, take our float out. We're going to test our float. I do have a video on how to test it. Um, this one's looking a bit dubious. Probably sat around a long time. Heat on seat. We'll get a new one in the uh, kit. Now, there's a few of these. Um, I'm using the wrong thing to take this out. I'll have to go get a, a few of these have, this is a screw-in needle and seat, a few of them have a pressed-in seat and uh, the kits that we sell have two different types of uh, needle and seats. One is like this, it'll come with the needle and the seat, the other the seat can't be replaced um, so you leave the seat and you just replace the needle, unfortunately the needle is the thing that goes bad. <clears throat> okay, so uh, uh, you want to take the main jet out uh, unlike me, use a screwdriver with a much wider end on it so that you, this jet wasn't very tight at all. Uh, your uh, jet size is uh, probably printed, let's see, right on the side. And let's see what this one says. Uh, 64F. Uh, 64 is pretty big. Um, it looks like they take regular uh, Ford Motocraft uh, jets, which we do carry. Uh, they don't generally come in the kits. Uh, 64F, you, you don't worry about the F. Uh, 64 is the size that you're looking for. It's actually 64 thousandths the whole. So there's your main jet gasket, which will be replaced. Uh, this is your, uh, let's see here. 